know, since 2020, the supply of land across Victoria, Australia in general, has been declining. You know, there there is a shortage, particularly in Victoria. There's no doubt, you know, I think a few episodes ago, we spoke about, you know, the troubles and the headwinds that we're seeing in the market, trying to make things stack up, even just trying to help people be able to afford. That's what the thinking is behind it. What that has now done is opened up a new market again. What we've learned through this process is demystifying it for clients as well. Getting these actual costs off isn't easy. Welcome to the Development Tank, brought to you by ReadyBuild, the best value in knockdown rebuild and dual occupancy projects in the market. I'm inside one of our ReadyBuild display homes where quality meets affordability. If you're planning a project anywhere in Australia, talk to me first. Scan the QR code or hit the link to book a free call. We'll beat the competition on price, service and value, guaranteed. If you're going to build, you're crazy not to build with Ready Build. Let's get into the podcast. Hey guys, welcome back to the Development Tank. We're back in the office and we're back here with Jonesy. And everyone knows what that means. When Jonesy's on here, we've got something big to talk about, something strategic, something business related, and usually super exciting. So keen to get into that with you guys. Uh, please also, if you're not in the Little Fish Network, make sure you jump in there. The links will be dropped below. The links will be everywhere. You can't miss it. Jonesy's dropped these articles in the network, things that we'll be talking about today and lots of other value in there as well. So make sure you jump in there so you can dive a bit deeper. But keen to get into it today. Exciting news. Jonesy, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Pete. Um, yeah, exciting news. Obviously, if you've uh, been on our website, it's still a little bit of a work in progress, but we are, well, we have dropped a, a new product slash service that we've been working pretty hard on behind the scenes, uh, the, the Ready Build Single, Ready Build Jewel. Obviously, the article that you referenced in the intro regarding knockdown rebuild and the theme um, of that or the trend of that in the current market at the minute, obviously with land listings in short supply and this uh, massive increase in interest to build, um, you know, we have seen an influx in um, you know, people inquiring in that space. We've also seen great opportunity from an investment point of view uh, and, and strong ROIs uh, in doing single dwelling developments. Um, so yeah, keen to unpack that with you today. And um, I think you know it'll be a flow on from what you would have read with the the recent article I posted online. Yeah, hundred percent. It's super exciting. There's no doubt. You know, I think a few episodes ago we spoke about you know the troubles and the headwinds that we're seeing in the market, trying to make things stack up, even just trying to help people be able to afford you know, their new home or, or their new development. So uh, you guys have worked tirelessly on curating a product and a service that can help people protect people, which is, you know, to our core, but give them a product that that's, that belongs in these, still belongs in these blue chip suburbs of Melbourne. Uh, we've been able to to bring all our experience of, of delivering custom solutions and custom builds and products to the market. We've been able uh, to work you know, with our uh, large-scale builder to be able to deliver a product that that people can be happy with and and have a great experience and be wrapped at the end. Uh, so yeah, super keen to get into that. We're gonna we're gonna dive into the knockdown rebuild today, uh, which is a, a massive part of the marketplace. You know, it's 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 a much bigger market than the dual lock space. You know, which will which we'll save for another episode. But yeah, keen to get into the reasons with you of 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 why people are doing it why it's on the tip of people's tongue. The ROIs are strong, like you mentioned, uh, and there's just a lot of benefits, you know, one being when the house is falling down around, you knock it down, put a new home, and you get to stay in your street, you know, that you've maybe been there for a long time. So keen to unpack that. Um, I know we've got some episodes coming up with Guru Gav that that we're buying these sites actively with our investors and, and you know, delivering this, uh, in quite a risk-free manner and a quick turnaround um, and delivering this product into a marketplace that's that's going to snap it up. But yeah, keen to unpack the the methodology and, and the overall, um, you know, I guess concept of, of you know, what, why we're doing this and what we're doing. Yeah, well, like I think if you just look at it statistically, like, um, you know, since 2020, the supply of land across Victoria, Australia in general, um, you know, has been declining. You know, there there is a shortage, particularly in Victoria. We're obviously in that period we've seen an increase in interest rates, construction pricing, and I think just the ability to balance up 
um, you know, decision making for individuals and clients and um, aspiring developers, you know, the transactional cost of, you know, selling and buying, mm-hmm. particularly in that knockdown rebuild space, um, you know, you know, what it's pushed people to do is, is reconsider their options. Um, and a lot of those decisions come off the back of lifestyle and you touched on it before the ability to be able to stay in suburbs around schools and cafes and amenities and family and friends that you may have set your life up there. Um, and the cost to get out of that and get into something new is generally pushing people out of those suburbs. So the next best thing, and I think why we've seen such an influx um, of inquiry in that space is probably because the most cost-effective thing to consider is actually knocking down the dwelling on on the site that you currently live in and building something that is going to be sufficient for your family. And and I think also the the advantages of doing it yourself and having that that ability to be able to personalize it and make it somewhat unique to you and what you need and what your family needs means that you can actually have something you have had a part in that rather than hoping that whoever did it before you or the property you're looking to buy um, did tick those boxes for you, which is which is super rare. Yeah, for sure. And so I think that's that's obviously where we've seen such an increase in it. And and if it's not you taking on the development yourself, then it is providing turnkey product in that space, um, which is why we're seeing stru- such strong returns from an investment perspective, um, and something that we're um, looking at when tackling projects from that angle, um, which you've touched on. That Gav will start to. I guess, uh, extrapolate out some of the feasibilities over the next few episodes to um, explain that in a little bit more detail. Yeah, couldn't agree more, Jonesy. For me, the marketplace that that, that is going to scoop this up is, you know, which is all of us, you know, not everyone wants to go through that process of, of buying land, dealing with a builder, uh, you know, waiting, you know, to, to walk into a, a four, five bedroom home, everything you need, ready to go. I think that's that's the dream for everyone. Not everyone's lucky enough to do that. But for people in that position, um, you know, to be able to dive in and buy something ready to go, uh, you know, because obviously you sort of got your two people. You got, all right, I can, you know, I can buy that from a from from a developer, ready to go, um, single, bespoke, really, really well curated. And then you've got obviously the people that have owned the land for a long time that can can sort of go through that process and the ready build service and product allows people to do that safely uh, whilst our team has put in a lot of work to to get it to the point where it's been demystified and and it's all quite clear um, so obviously our product offerings we can manage that process for you or you can you know buy a ready build single uh, you know which has had all those things boxes ticked and that sort of thing for them so I think it's just bringing bringing the marketplace closer to that really successful end project rather than, I guess, you know, the horror stories that you hear out there, which is, you know, what we've been doing for years is mitigating risk and and, and carrying our clients through that process and um, getting them to the end, you know, with smiles on their faces. Because usually, uh, most often, it's, it's the biggest investment they'll ever make. Yeah, for sure. I think the one thing is like, there is still a space for the custom realm, don't get us wrong oh, in that in that yeah, uh in, from that perspective yeah. like we will still continue to manage that but what's happened with pricing it's just pushed us into a certain area and we've had to find a new solution which we've alluded to in previous episodes but yes. and and this is the solution trying to take the best of i guess the the volume type space um, and overlay that with our experience in project management and internal design, external design, the efficiencies of being able to build cost effectively from an engineering perspective, um, you know, our ability to be able to project managing and realize planning outcomes. And, and also the angle in which we look at it from a return on investment perspective. If you're yeah. a client, you know, the typical experience is I go and deal with a volume builder and you hear the horror stories, like really every sort of change you make is cash in their pocket and and how do you know that that decision is the right decision for you and the investment that you're making whereas we're trying to tackle it from the other way where we we support you and uh, we try and secure your uh, investment and and protect you along that journey guiding you into the best possible outcome so you realize the dream home that you're trying to create but at the same time you're actually, uh, you know, you're not overcapitalizing, you're not overspending, you've got an eye on budget, you've got an eye on timeline. 
Um, and, and the reason why knockdown rebuild in particular is such a great um, avenue is be, from a time perspective, it's just a lot more efficient. Um, yeah, yeah. And when, when we look at it from a dual occupancy perspective, you know, typically we're saying these projects are going to take us 24 months. Knockdown rebuild, you know, you build within the, you know, the planning uh, overlays and requirements to a certain area and, and you can reduce that down to 15, 16 yeah. 18 months at worst which when you look at it then from an roi perspective you know if you're an investor that's a huge tick uh if you're a family and you're needing to you know get or new you're accommodation or you're or renting yep. again that's a big tick so that's i think that's the appeal in it and yeah couldn't agree more jonesy and and the thing is and, and i know you'll agree with me here that what we've learned through this process is demystifying it for clients as well and, and meeting clients' expectations from, you know, from the outset. Getting these actual costs off these large-scale builders isn't easy. So so getting getting the costs, getting the full turnkey costs onto a spreadsheet, uh, you know, what's landscaping look like, what's driveways look like, all, all these things to get it onto a spreadsheet so a client can clearly make a decision on on what they want to do hasn't been that easy so it's it's made us quite uh, it's made me quite bullish on on there is a, a big gap in the market for clarity and transparency uh, so people haven't got the surprises that pop up uh, that no doubt happens because we've had surprises throughout this whole thing and I reckon we're pretty good at what we do so uh, so for people to be able to embark on something have less curveballs and less roadblocks, is only a good thing. Yeah, like I couldn't agree more, Pete. Like if you were to consider the custom route and the cost involved there, like you, it, it's very much unknown until you've realized, you know, that whole design development process and you're starting to cost it with, you know, construction drawings to get an indicative price of where that will land. You know, the ready build solution for us, you know, is demystifying the cost of when you tackle it with a volume builder. And now there's advantages with a volume builder in terms of their ability to, um, you know, produce a more cost-effective product from a scalability and buying power point of view, and they've got efficiencies in their design. So that that's a that's something that we've been able to tap into. But then it has been, as you've touched on, demystifying the cost. Like if I was to go directly and deal with one of them just as an independent client, a lot of the time you you sort of sold into this dream of what's the build on site cost, without considering you know. Um, you know, project costs outside of that. You've touched on landscaping, you know, on-site costs, um, you know, any kind of variations or upgrades or changes that need to occur and getting understanding of the value of them. I guess that's what we're trying to allow or create in the market is is clarity for people that this is what you get. You, you It's full turnkey. Um, this is your investment. This is what we think needs to be done to maximize it. These are the changes we would recommend and this is the cost of these changes. This is where we see comparable sales in the area and these are the reasons why and, from, and through factual information be able to justify that. Whereas if you were to put yourself in an independent client's shoes and situation that has no understanding or experience in that space and they're dealing directly with the builder, you know, they're potentially overcapitalizing. They're not really sure on pro project, uh, I mean product quality, um, or finish or what decisions should they make. And a lot of it is just, the, you know, those luxurious choices without any context on cost or price or resale or return on investment. Yeah, 100%. I think there's, as we know, there's the overcapitalization, but then even I think, you know, nearly more so the undercapitalization, which is just missing elements and details that, that haven't been thought about prior to you embarking on this journey and then getting to the end uh, and then getting the old, oh, wow, like, oh, jeepers. Oh, no, what, what's happened That's here? What's what I happened signed there? up for. That's not what I signed up for. That's not what I thought. But there was no guidance at the early stages to to make the client aware that, hey, this is how this will turn out. Are you happy with that? You know, and, and it's not so much making upgrades every every bid. It's more so that client appreciating that that's how that detail is going to end up. Are you happy with that? We can change that now before we start if you want. So just being able to demystify it and not have underwhelming experiences at handover and things like that, I think's 
super important because this should be an enjoyable process for the landowner, investor, whoever it might be. Uh, and that's essentially what we're, what we're bringing to market, which is, which is exciting. I guess one thing to touch on as well, Pete, it would be, you know, how that whole process works. And I think, you know, embarking on a knockdown rebuild is a bit more of a complex journey compared to having, you know, a vacant site. Yeah. Um, and that's another angle in which we, want to come from with you know someone like little fish or you know a development professional assisting you through that process in terms of understanding the project costs and roi and feasibility and obviously then site conditions to make sure you're maximizing your investment you know from a um you know a block assessment from a team of experts in particular is absolutely paramount in in this situation you know once you've pulled that house down but then understanding overshadowing and orientation implications you know how to obtain a, a permit and in you know quick succession yeah, always that's right. um you know the things like soil testing setbacks encumbrances frontages um you know planning overlays required with um you know a whole heap of things to do with that development and that um that site and that location that council um and then ultimately the feasibility so i think you know having someone like us or a development professional in your corner to support you through that process will then help mitigate the risk on the other side yeah couldn't agree more and you know you've nailed that we've been lucky enough and i've really enjoyed over our journey is also leaning on our relationships so instead of you being you know, the one job, the one client that will probably do one build for that between you and that builder, the service you get with that versus the service you get with someone who does volume like us. You know, we've got a lot more, a lot more pull, a lot more punch when it comes to making things happen for our clients. So we're in a, you know, an amazing position to be able to to give them service that they would never get on their own. So I think, you know, for me, that's one of the, you know, the massive value adds as well. Because if something goes wrong somewhere, you've got someone in your corner that can pull strings and and navigate their way out of it. Um, you know, without landing all that stress on on the client. Yeah, for sure. I think ultimately when you kind of sum up the whole thing, like, you know, ready build has come about and in particular in this knockdown rebuild space, but it's overlaid in the dual occupancy space as well. Like the reason why we've gone that way is, is purely because of pricing in the custom space has pushed the viability of projects into very kind of um, niche areas. Mm. Uh, but you know, what ready build has been able to do is now support a client, um, in a more cost effective way. And we're able to assist from acquisition through feasibility, the risk mitigation side of things that we just touched on, you know, the design and planning process with a team at project managers to support that, you know, that now we've actually got certainty on the builder and pricing and transparency on the cost with that from a base point of view and the ability then to up spec things and and design develop that product into what the market needs in that area um, as well as then you know someone like us with our supply partnerships can then continue that journey in terms of um, you know I guess bringing the the niceties or the luxuries to the development to take it whether that be personalized or take it to the level that it needs to be um, you know I think that was the vision behind ready build mm. that's what that's what the thinking is behind it, and what's that? What that has now done is opened up a new market again, um, a market where we used to play three or four years ago because of where costs were. We're now finding these opportunities open back up, whether it be a client to do a development from a cost control point of view or from an investor perspective. You know they can't afford to be in the heart of these blue chip suburbs, but they're on the fringe, and now we're starting to see solid returns again from a return on total project cost and dependent on how that um you know the the project is structured financially you know much stronger returns on equity yeah i couldn't agree more jonesy and which we'll get into further you know with guru gav but you know the numbers have never looked better uh and it's simply because of these initiatives in the work that's been put in around getting the cost down but the caveat around getting the cost down is making sure you're delivering a product that's still going to hit the hit hit the hit the reasonably high note so and that's what we've been able to do there's as we've mentioned a big gap in the market from down the volume guys down at the bottom right up to the custom stuff who's playing in the middle with a product that suits 
you know, your your one point five to two million dollar townhouses here in Melbourne specifically, uh, but can do that in a way that that the product is something that's going to get those ROIs going. So, um, yeah, amazing initiative, great work from you know you and the team, sort of dragging it through. Uh, anything to leave us with, Jonesy? I was probably just like it's it's still not the answer for everyone. Like I still speak to people daily on thinking that you know this is this is the answer for everything. It's going to help everything stack up. Um, the, the true facts are that, you know, this is where we're at from a market point of view. This is a solution for some areas, but, you know, this is not um, going to fix everyone's issue by any stretch. Yeah. But I think it's important that you do talk to someone like we have got other ways in which we could possibly provide solutions, whether dependent on budget or location. And a lot of that's driven on the return on, on the project and whether there is um, or it is feasible to to continue on um you know i guess speaking with someone like myself i have no issues with being um transparent on where i think Mm. it sits but i think it's important you get that clarity um alternatively like we think this is a terrific solution um and you know we think there's there's awesome opportunity for you to get what you desire without that uncertainty and i i guess the risk associated um, from a build perspective and a design perspective, not to get you know um, a whole heap of sunk cost in and and uh, you know uh, you know six to twelve months deep into a project to realise that you're way over budget and and the only way out is to value manage it back into a realm where you know you're quite possibly compromising the end result. Yeah, for sure. I think to have someone in your corner, like we've always said, that has got that eye and those expertise and that knowledge and experience to make sure you're guided into that that profitable outcome, uh, that successful outcome, whatever success looks like for you. Usually it's monetary, you know, if owner ox, they're, they're, there's other success KPIs in there. Um, but yeah, guided into that successful outcome. So you know, the biggest thing that you've done in your life is a success and it is all smiles at the end rather than maybe having reservations and um, expectations not being met. For sure. So yeah, no, awesome work, mate. We'll keep bringing the people what they want and we'll keep working on things to make sure that people are getting in the market and people are achieving their ROIs. Uh, So amazing work. Anyone, please get in the network, Little Fish Network. Like Jonesy said, it's not for everyone, but it is for a lot of people. And get in there, start learning, start asking questions, uh, and you'll soon figure out how you can play in the Little Fish ecosystem. Happy developing.